Kate Watts always thought that she understood. Is it weakness that brought you back in? She's a nurse supervisor. You can see, I got a port too. Ah, Works so with cancer patients on the yeah. seventh floor of Texas Health Harris Hospital in Fort Worth. Up here it's challenging with very sick patients who might be dying, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I know Mardona said we're toxin tomorrow. What this veteran nurse never expected. So we're going to just start with saline, okay? Okay. Is to become a cancer patient herself. I'm trying so hard to be positive. When I can't sleep, I, I just try not to let my mind go there because I'm afraid I'll start crying and not stop. Her symptom was subtle. Slight redness there on her right breast. Kate figured it might be a bug bite from boot camp. If I had gone in and said, looks like I have a skin infection, she would have said, oh, you probably do. I don't think she, she said she never would have thought about IBC if she hadn't seen Jennifer's story. I'm not necessarily afraid to die, but I'm very afraid to say goodbye. Jennifer Quartz is the mother we told you about in May. All right, so I'm going to come up here and lay down. The woman who wanted to warn others about inflammatory breast cancer. The report goes out later today. Okay. The rare disease that looks like a rash. Jennifer got diagnosed at stage four. It's incurable. Right? And her story aired okay. May 2nd, and my symptoms started May 4th, and May 5th I went to my doctor. I mean, if that's not God talking to you, I don't know what is. Kate's is stage three. It's treatable. Immediately, I was like, I've got to meet her. I didn't know how she would feel about it, but I figured I want her to know she made a difference. So one morning last week, they met. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so happy to meet you. I'm happy to meet you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. For more than an hour, two mothers fighting the same rare cancer shared experiences and hope. The biggest piece of this fight is up here. Yeah. And if you can, you know, if you can conquer and win that fight, mm -hmm. then everything else. Yeah. Let the doctors and nurses take yeah. care of. And it's hard to know what I know about this disease okay. and you know. even begin to think that somebody else is just starting the fight. I hate it. But it's yeah. so beautiful knowing that she's going to beat it. I wouldn't be real if I didn't say I wish mine was curable too. You know, I, I guess I, I just want to live too. Jennifer is making memories. Since her story aired, they visited SeaWorld in San Diego. She and her husband Rob renewed vows at Hotel Del Coronado, where they were first married. Hey, Kate. Hi. Kate is undergoing chemotherapy and faces surgery, but expected to beat cancer. We have significant response to treatment, so her masses are, are smaller, the lymph nodes are smaller. The veteran nurse still works between chemotherapy treatments. She's now able to empathize with fellow patients. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> no, not at all. Lots of, yeah, lots. And remains yeah, grateful right. to her new friend, Jennifer, for sharing her journey. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.